Hi friends, today we will see how to use the lookup activity in UiPath. So here I have opened uh, UiPath Studio. The version here is version of my UiPath is uh, 2018.4.0. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to explain this in a simple scenario. We are going to do in a simple scenario, simple way, actually. So I have created an, uh, a list of uh, 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 created an Excel um, having US states and its corresponding uh, abbreviations. So we are not going to use these two columns as of now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is so I'm going to get a value of a state name from the user and then I'm going to show the abbreviation of the of that particular of the entered state. Okay, let's get started. I will close this Excel. So first we need to get the value from the user. So I'm going to use the input dialog activity which you can uh, find it in this uh, panel in this activities panel. So I'm going to store the very store the data in a variable called state name. I use it in a camel case so that is advisable sorry. So it shows uh, already available. Okay, it is already there. So you can just uh, choose it from the available variables. Okay. Now it's get connected to the start option and then uh, I'm going to read this uh, value in that in my excel so I'm going to read a range of uh, sheet a range of uh, columns and rows so here we have read range activity from two things one is workbook another one is excel so what i am going to do is i am going to use the read range from this workbook so double click on this activity choose the file that you need okay usa state list so by default it is sheet 1 uh, I have also uh, have the content in sheet 1 this thing we need to uh, remove this thing so we are not going to uh, read a particular uh, we are not going to read a particular cell actually we are going to um, look into an entire sheet so I'm going to remove this so that's it so the next step is We need to attach this here and then now we are going to use the lookup activity okay lookup data table yeah before uh, before going for that uh, we are going to store this data table in a variable called cell range okay so I am going to uh, look into the in this cell range so here <coughs> we need to give the values here okay so I am uh, in 
as you see in properties panel in the lookup data lookup activity uh, there is a list of uh, options available so what I am going to do is in data table column in data table field we need to enter uh, the exact cell range you need to you are going to look it look at so look up value what value we are going to look up that is the data entered by the user okay it is state name it is stored in the variable as a state name which column I am going to look either you mention it by index or a name so I am going to use the column name that is state name okay and the next one is the output cell value here you can uh, store it in another variable called abbreviation okay we have stored it in this cell value and the target column is we are going to fetch the value of the uh, corresponding to that particular state which the value of abbreviation abbreviation column right so what we are targeting is the abbreviation columns so I am going to mention it by name column name abbreviations uh, let me check one more thing sorry uh, let me check the name exact name of the columns once again yes here abbreviations okay sorry There is an option called uh, in read range you see there is an option called uh, add headers uh, if your excel sheet doesn't have any headers or column names you can uncheck this uh, option um, here my sheet having the column headers so I, I have enabled this option okay so I hope this will uh, work let's see uh, yeah I'm going to display this in a message box the output in a message box let's see what is that message that we have stored in in this cell abbreviation so remember that you have to we we have not uh, not handled the error scenarios here so we, are we need to give the exact value as uh, as it is in the excel sheet so I'm going to run this so just a second I'm closing this excel uh, now running I, I didn't give any headers for this uh, message box 
so I'm writing Chicago let's see what's the problem here sorry so I have given Ch Chicago that is a state name so that's not a state name so as you as I mentioned uh, we didn't cover the error scenarios here so instead of entering the state name I have entered a, a city name okay we'll see so Chicago belongs to Illinois uh, Illinois uh, state right so or we will give Florida okay now we'll see so here we go we got the output as FL okay so the state code for uh, Florida is FL that's it we got the output yeah thank you guys thanks for watching